if she's a princess, I'm a queen. That means everybody shh when you talk. Now listen, I had um, I had a speech worked up and you know I said how much I love her, blah blah blah. Everybody knows that. This is why we're having this beautiful party, because this is my baby. But um, you know it's funny because last Sunday I went to church and while I was sitting in church. The, every speech that I had consisted of me saying how much I loved her, but I know all you guys know how much I love her. Everybody here is tight with me. Um, but while I was sitting there, it had me thinking about the past year. It took me a year to plan this party. So what you see has taken time. I mean, the centerpieces I did myself. Everything in here but the tablecloths and the food and the cake I did myself. So it took a while to prepare for this. Um, but it made me think about when Valerie was little, she used to say, I, you know, everybody, every single time everybody told her, oh my God, you look so much like your dad, she would cry. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, she would cry, not because she did, not because her dad is ugly, because he's very handsome, but when you tell a little girl that she looks like her dad, you're telling a little girl she looks like a guy. You know, they don't understand the difference. So she would cry, and as she got older, she just made faces, you know? Just yesterday, we had some family members flying from Florida, and Jose, which is her uncle, said, oh my God, you look just like your dad, and she made a face, which made me laugh. <laughs> but what I wanted to tell you, Valerie, is that one of your best qualities, yes, is your looks, you're a very beautiful girl, you know, you, you joke around just like your dad, you're jokes, so you love music, but you're a strong young lady. You got your head screwed on straight. And in this past year, in this past year, I got to see another side of my daughter, the side that's around her friends. Because I had these kids behind me for three months every week. And I saw how she got to act around her friends. And the girl that I see before me is the girl that I see before her friends also, which made me very proud. She is a, a good student. She deserves everything in this room and even more. And I love her. I just love her. I just love her. It's not fair for that I get the whole dance and I don't get nothing, right? Is that fair? with a little surprise for my baby girl. I wanted to dedicate a song to her. You know, one of the things about me and Valerie, we were very tight and we talk a lot. So I'm always, you know, guiding her in the right direction. I don't tell her what to do so much because I want her to become a strong young lady. So I want her to make the right decisions for herself. So I guide her. But if one day you were away in college, but God forbid I'm not there to guide you in the right direction, I want you to listen to a specific song that I'm dedicating to you. And I want you to think back and say, this is what my mom would tell me. So I had, originally one of my friends was supposed to come and sing, but he was so kind as to tell me that the song I wanted, um, you know, wasn't 